everyone, welcome to the Moxie YouTube channel. I'm Shev, and today we're gonna talk about how to host your own roller skate rollout. What is a roller skating rollout? A roller skating rollout is an amazing thing where a bunch of people in their roller skates join forces, meet at one place at one time, and they all roll out together. Before we get into all the steps of what goes into planning your own roller skate rollout, we wanna hear from you. Put in the comments, have you been in a rollout? Is this your first time hearing about a rollout? Have you hosted your own rollout? Tell us a story about the best rollout you ever went to or your dream rollout of where you want to go. Leave a comment below. Step number one. This is kind of optional, but it's a classic. Choose a theme. Like, is it clown themed? Is it suns out, buns out? I wonder who hosted that one. It was me. <laughs> Legs had a cancer awareness rollout. Queer Girl Straight Skates has a rainbow cheers to the queers rollout. It can be anything that's fun and usually colorful or empowering, something you believe in. You can raise money for something. There's so many themes. It's pretty much endless. And it's a lot of fun because it gets everyone like excited about how they're gonna dress up or what they're raising money for. Highly recommend choosing a theme. Step number two, it's all about the location. Never host a rollout somewhere that you've never skated before. <laughs> um, I even like to skate wherever I choose to host a rollout right before to make sure there's no obstacles, that nothing's changed because life is just ever changing, isn't it? Uh, you want to make sure that it's not just skatable, but what levels are going to be able to skate this route? Do you want it to only be for advanced skaters? Do you want it to be welcoming to all levels? Really keep that in mind. So with the location, you want to have a meeting spot. You want to make sure there's places you can take breaks along the way and then an ending spot. Not only that, is that when you end, are you gonna also roll back again? Because people really wanna know, how many miles is it? What's the time of this rollout? So these are all factors you wanna take in, in consideration. For me, for the Suns Out, Buns Out rollout, I choose to start at the top of a hill, and I know that that can be really advanced or in, intermediate for people. So I always let people know, like there's a staircase, there's a safety rail, there's also, meeting at the bottom so that way it is welcoming for all levels and it's not so intimidating for new skaters step number three this one's really important and you have to be a people person and you gotta have some good friends and it's asking for help getting volunteers these can be skaters that you know online this can be friends that you have already in your circle that are super about helping out you're gonna notice in rollouts that there's a fast pack, a medium pack, and a slow pack. So it's really cool to have, like if you're leading it and you have a friend up there, you have another volunteer in the middle, maybe two, and then a couple in the back. For me, I think it's really important to have the person in the back, someone that does have a first aid kit, if not all the people helping. Uh, I am really fortunate to have a friend that is a nurse, so she is prepared, especially being at the end of the pack, to catch anyone that does have an accident that might need some sort of medical help, um, or even it's just a little boo-boo and a little band-aid on it. So it's really important to reach out to people you know and utilize their strengths. You want these people to be the ones that aren't afraid of new people, that can be talkative, that can be supportive, that can be like personal little cheerleaders and coaches. Having these volunteers also really helps with crowd control because people might get lost or they're not paying attention for ongoing traffic, whether that be people on bicycles or people walking, pedestrians in general. If you're crossing a street and there's cars coming at stop signs, it's really important to have someone stationed to stop the skaters and to also stop the, stop the cars, become kind of a uh, traffic officer as well. You gotta wear many hats, one pair of skates, but many hats for this job. Step number four. This one is optional. This one is really cool if you are raising money for something or you just want to be 
giving a platform and advertising small businesses, especially makers in the skate community. And it is gathering prizes for a raffle or giveaway. Uh, for the Suns Out Buns Out, the first one, I reached out personally to a lot of businesses in the skate community and asked them like, hey, can you please donate to my rollout? I'm gonna host a raffle. I passed out tickets to everyone that was there. And then at the end, we had everyone gather and they got gifts. It was super awesome. For the second one, I knew it was gonna be a little too crazy. There was about a thousand people. So I was like, there's no way I can do a raffle. But I did get a t-shirt company, Roller Skate owned, to hand out some t-shirts. And then they we passed those out at the rollout. And we also had estrogen passing out so many skater socks. It was insane. I kind of wanted some of those socks for myself because they were so cool. So it kind of like, it's just something like really exciting to do. Like you go to a rollout just to have fun and you're not expecting a prize or something for free. So it is something really fun to do. You could also do a raffle and charge if you wanted to, to raise money for an awareness of cancer or something else going on that you feel really passionate about and you would like to do a donation at the end. Step number five, it's all about how you promote this rollout. If you want a really big rollout, I would say maybe do a save the date even two months in advance. And I know that sounds crazy, but you start getting the little tingle in people's ears like, ooh, a rollout's coming, I can't wait. And then you keep just advertising it on your social media platform of choice, maybe once a week, just to get people really excited that they remember. And next thing you know, you might have a thousand people show up. <laughs> But if you don't want to have a lot of people, you could just start advertising a couple of weeks ahead because in the end, rollouts are really just word of mouth. A lot of people will often say, how do I find out about these rollouts? Is there like a website I can go to? Is there like an Instagram or a Facebook group that has every single rollout happening? Unfortunately, it's not. But I kind of like that too. I kind of like how old school rollouts are where it's literally, you just got to hear from a friend. And uh, not so old school that you're literally only if you meet someone and they tell you about it. We do have Instagram where I find out about most rollouts happening. So you really just have to be on the lookout and really talk to skaters. Cause I feel like when I talk to skaters when I'm out at skate parks or at a different rollout or just out and about, they'll usually be like, hey, did you hear about this really cool rollout happening? And I'm like, oh my gosh, tell me more. So marketing your rollout is really just advertising it and it's a good way whether you make like a flyer and you post it on Instagram and you could even do a YouTube video about it to get people really excited. Don't forget to document your rollout. That could be just little videos on your phone. Maybe you're dating a YouTuber and they can take amazing videos while you're out. Or maybe you know someone that records for the Moxie Roller Skates YouTube channel and they can get cool videos that they're probably plugging all over the place right now. <laughs> it's really important to document it because not only for your own personal memories, but it's really cool for other skaters that attended to see footage and pictures of themselves as well. And one of my favorite things about knowing that I documented at every rollout is when I host the next one a year later, I can look back and see how far that I've come. So those are the steps of how to host your own rollout. I know it can be really scary at first. I was really nervous my first one. It felt like when you're throwing a birthday party and you're like, no one's gonna show up. But even if three people show up, heck, even if only one other person shows up, you're still gonna make a new roller skate buddy for life and you're gonna have the time of your life. So just do it. And if you make mistakes, you're gonna learn from them and then you're gonna throw an even bigger and better one the next time. And at the end, rollouts, hosting your own rollout is really about just bringing the community together and really remembering why we love to skate and it's really unifying. Just go out there and do it. Host your own rollout. Literally right now. Wait, no, I have some more stuff to say, but then after this video, go start planning your own rollout. Thank you. All right, so if you would like to support the Moxie Roller Skates YouTube channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, you can book a virtual skate shop appointment if you need any help with like 
maintenance on your skates or you need a consultation, I am one of the people you can book with along with some other amazing skaters that we have on our staff. Another way to support Moxie Roller Skates is to shop at moxieskates.com. We have everything you need from cool bell bottoms to toe stops to everything. Thanks for watching this episode of the Moxie YouTube channel. I'm Shove and I love spending time with y'all. Don't forget to put in the comments anything else you'd like to say or know about rollouts. Heck, if you're gonna throw your own rollout, throw it in the comments. I will come back to look because I love attending them as much as I love throwing them. And for now, that's it. Bye.